Is your mouth watering yet? Ready? Welcome everyone back to another video Anthony Fong Fishing. If you're new here, I'm Anthony. I do all fishing, outdoor shenanigans. So if that's your thing, consider subscribing. And normally it's an Italian tradition to have calamari, aka squid, on Christmas Eve with your entire family. And normally I get together with my grandma and we clean the squid and we make stuffed squid for the whole family. This year was not the case however, but even though it is January, we still picked up some extra squid from the wharf at Sagnaro's and I brought it home to fr make some fried calamari rings and cook them up. So without further ado, let's get started. So first you're gonna pull the head and tentacle part out of the tube body. Most of the guts will be attached to this head part and you will want to take them out. Squid have a hard clear backbone piece called the quill and right on the opening of the squid body will be a hard point and you use your nail to pull and pinch and it should come right out. And there it is, just clear. You can just throw this away, along with the guts. Next, I took the skin off the squid body by just scraping it with my nails until it came off. The skin should peel off after a few tries and you'll know that it is skinned when the body of the squid becomes a uniform white color. After skinning, there are two little fin flaps toward the top of the squid that help it move. Since we are making squid rings, we don't need these fin pieces, so I peel them off. Note that you can cook these if you wanted to. They are quite tasty. Now it's time to cut the squid into rings, and to do so I cut the squid the short ways so that I would be cutting tubular cylindrical pieces and making them about a fourth of an inch thick. With the head part, pull whatever guts are left on it and throw them away. With the eye and tentacle part, we want the tentacle clumps, not individual tentacles, so I cut between the eye and the base of the tentacles. Now that you have one big clump of tentacles, you can cut them into two or three smaller clumps so that everyone in your family can get some. Remember to make sure that when you cut the head part off, make sure to remove the hard pointy beak so that it is not with the tentacles. It is not edible. Now I'm just going to clean and gut the rest of the squid. You don't have to worry about cleaning all the guts out on the first pool because I put all my squid meat into a strainer and cleaned it under the sink to get rid of any guts that lingered around. <laughs> Next, heat up some vegetable oil in a pot on the stove and make it about two inches deep or just enough so that the squid do not touch the bottom of the pot when it fries. So now that we got the oil on the stove heating up, it's time to make our tempura batter mix that we're gonna dip our squid into. This is super simple, anyone can do it. We're just using some tempura batter mix and it calls for one cup of the mix and three fourths cup water. So it's time to mix those up right now. Then I stir until a uniform consistency. Now at the stove, I'm going to put the pieces of the squid in the batter to coat them, then pull some out and let the excess batter drip for a second and place them in the oil. Please remember to place them in the oil gently. If you remember with the jack smelt that I cooked up a few months ago, things didn't go so well as the oil splattered everywhere. Dude, that burns! Cook the squid for a few minutes or until they are golden brown. Once ready, I use a strainer ladle to take them out of the oil and onto a plate with a paper towel to cool. Look at those beautiful fried calamari rings and tentacles. Mmm, mmm. Is your mouth watering yet? We finally plated them. Look how beautiful and delicious they look. And now I'm just gonna put some on a little plate with some ketchup and we're gonna do a taste test. Mm. 
All right, so now I got my family and we're all gonna have some and taste test and see how good they are. Delicious. Very good, Anthony. Mm -hmm. They're pretty good, especially with ketchup. Yeah. <laughs> That's it for this video, Anthony Fong Fishing. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing and dropping a like. I had a lot of fun making these calamari rings and tentacles, and my entire family loved it, especially my dad. He loved those tentacles. So thanks for watching and tune in next time.